The Artemis program is critical to the future of humanity. We are landing the first woman and next man on the moon. The mock-up is a full-scale replica of the system that we are going to be sending to the lunar surface in 2024. This is going to allow NASA's astronauts in Houston to get first-hand experience of our design so that they can start to give us feedback. The mock-up represents our first effort as a national team to integrate among Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, Draper, and Blue Origin. We believe the national team combines the best of breed from all of the uh, talent within the U.S. The architecture is really comprised of three major elements the ascent element, the descent element, and the transfer element. We, Lockheed, are building the ascent element. It's where the crew is housed. The transfer element is to transfer the lunar lander down to the surface of the moon. The descent element built by Blue Origin is really a game-changing moon landing vehicle. That's leveraging three years of experience that Blue has been working to allow a sustained human presence for decades to come by using lunar resources. It's supporting the ability to have a sustaining presence on the moon and the ability to use the moon's resources to continue to expand humanity's footprint on the moon. As a partner in the national team, Draper will provide guidance, navigation, and control, avionics, and software systems. Our contributions draw on the systems we developed for NASA and the Apollo program when America first landed on the moon 51 years ago. We went to the moon with Apollo, and we want to be part of the human landing system that goes back to the moon to stay. This is humanity's ultimate challenge. And in order to pull this off, it takes a team. We are designing a vehicle that will be able to ensure humanity has a permanent presence on the moon.